Greetings. Get ready to embark on an extraordinary journey, exploring the world of networking solutions. To install in your Proxmox server, we are going to show you an app that you can use to replace your VPN. This software has two unique features, not found in Tailscale, Netbird, Twingate. We will be running zero tier in our Proxmox network. So, buckle up and prepare to be amazed by the brilliance of this video. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to our Proxmox expert, Nico. Please note that Nico has a charming Dodecanese European accent, but fear not he speaks the Queen's English fluently. Over to you, Nico. Thank you, Josh. Hi there. This video may become controversial. We have already covered Netbird, Tailscale, and Twingate. With Zero Tier, you get more than what these and other Zero Trust networking VPN replacement systems provide. We provide a link down below to this blog page which will serve as the instructions for this video. We have already covered Netbird, Tailscale and Twingate in our previous videos. With Zero Tier, you get more than what these and other Zero Trust networking VPN replacement systems provide. To save time, you can read this on our blog page. What I do want to point out is that Zero Tier, in addition to support for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS, it provides support for MicroTik and IoT devices. And that makes this unique. We'll start by looking at Zero Tier. So if you click on the home page, it will bring you here. And this is what we found interesting, that Zero Tier supports IoT. I haven't seen this for the other Zero Trust systems. So give us a comment down below if you have seen another Zero Trust system that provides this functionality. In addition to IoT, Zero Tier provides support for MicroTik and other routers. Next, we'll look at the pricing. Zero Tier, like some of the other Zero Trust systems, provides a free account. In this account, you get a single admin user and 25 devices, unlimited networks, and community support. And if we click on the community link, there are two ways to install it. You can go for the open source version. We are going to click on the Zero Tier Basic. And that brings us here. For a new user, you will select which security provider you are going to use. I will select Google. Select my account. Continue. You can tick if you want to get emails, I don't want to, and then create a network. Now that I've done that, I want to install this on my Linux laptop. So now we are going to go to the download. Click this link, it will take you here. And you will see there's a difference between this download and some of the other Zero Trust networking providers. You'll notice that in addition to iOS and Android and Windows and Mac and Linux, that there's routers here. And this gives you support to MicroTik. And then this also gives you support to IoT devices. Now that you've come on the download page, let's have a look and see what there is. There is a Microsoft installer, there is a Mac OS installer, there is a Linux installer, and for our Docker fans, there is even support for Docker here. In addition to that, they have published the code in GitHub. They even support free BSD. NAS devices, we will now select the Linux. 
We'll copy this command and open a terminal. While we wait for this to install, we will pause the video. And they've now provided me with an address. We'll copy it. It is important to keep this URL as a bookmark. And then when you do that, then you click on Networks and we'll create our network. We'll give this a more descriptive name. That's fine. We need to add our devices, so copy this. We'll put it on a notepad. I'm going to keep this as a private network. Now that we have created our network, you need to use your network ID. Notice that there is no dot there. So copy this and paste it into your notepad. Remove the dot. Then we need to run these commands on our Linux laptop and also on our Linux server. So let's go to the terminal. We will run the first command to check the status. And we are not connected to any network. You will now run this command and replace this with your network ID. So let's open the notepad, copy, paste, Now we will run this command to list the networks. And we see that we are now connected to that network. After you have added your server to the network, if you scroll down to the bottom, you will get a section called Members. And over here you will see there's my server that I've just added. So all I need to do now is to authorize this. Now that we've done that, let's go and install this in our Proxmox server. We have created an LXC container. We decided to call it zero tier. So what we need to do is we need to start this container and open the console. Login. helps to type the right password. Okay, now that we've logged in, we are going to run the same commands we ran on our Linux laptop. We are going to run the curl command to install the zero tier agent on our server. And thereafter, we are going to add the server to the network by running these commands. So let's do that. This is the command we are going to run. We'll pause the video until this has ended. And then the next command 
And then we had this command, which you can see down there. So what we need to do is put the network ID, which we saved in our notepad. And that is the ID. And then we run this command to see what networks we have. Now that we've run this command, let's open the browser and see what's happened. And you can see here we have a new server. So let's click there and authorize it. And it said less than a minute ago. And let's give this one a name. This is our... And let's give this one a name as well. After we have enabled both our our laptop and our server, you will notice that they provide you with an IP address and that is not in the range of the network that those machines are. I am using 10.154.2 for my home lab. All my machines on my network are in that range. This IP address is out of range, but it is the IP address of this machine. So I would be able to from the laptop ping it. And you can see that we have pinged this server. I like the fact that it didn't generate the IP address until I enabled it. So if you try to connect to my network, I won't enable you and you won't be able to get an IP address so you won't be able to ping my machines. But after this video, I am going to delete this network. Well, I trust you found this interesting. Please subscribe to our channel so that we can reach our target. And please let us know what you would like to, to see why are you watching the videos of this channel? What are you interested in? So that we can tailor our videos to meet that requirement. And with that, back to you, Josh. Thank you for watching this video, exploring the world of VPN alternatives to install in your Proxmox server. We got to install Zero Tier and were surprised at how versatile this software is. It also uses zero trust and is built on WireGuard, so it is very secure. This is a good alternative to NetBird and a lot easier to install and use. Zero Tier has two unique features, not found in Tailscale, NetBird, and TwinGate. It supports routers like Microtik routers and IoT devices. Running this solution in a Proxmox server is incredibly useful. If you have not given us a like, please do so. Why are you watching our videos? Please let us know. If you found this video valuable, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest content and tutorials, ensuring you never miss out on informative videos. Your support is crucial for our channel's growth. We genuinely appreciate your support and look forward to sharing more enriching content. Stay curious and continue exploring and harnessing Proxmox's remarkable potential in your home lab and DevOps journey. Thank you for being part of our community.